What's going on ladies and gentlemen? Today is June 24th, 2018 and I have a different video for you guys today. Something a little special but something that I feel like needs to be addressed like as soon as possible so that we can fix this problem. And before you watch the rest of the video, I'm just kind of want to do this. Leave a comment as to what you think this problem is. Don't watch the rest of the video. Don't be stupid and don't cheat. So right here, I have some notes about a particular problem that I feel like needs to be addressed. Now, what that problem is, um, is the, the, the just outrageous amounts of sea lions and seals in the um, in the Pacific Northwest, like in the Columbia River, Willamette River, Clackamas River, they're all over the place, and they're causing problems. Now, what kind of problems you might be asking? Well, uh, this year, um, the amount, the, the number of salmon that have made it to their spawning grounds in the Pacific Ocean have been at an all-time low. Um, and that, that's because we just haven't done a good enough job of managing our natural resources. And one of those natural resources would be the sea lions. Um, and by manage that, I mean, this may sound evil, but killing them, relocating them, putting them other places. Because, I mean, you, you salmon fishermen out there have seen it. You've seen it. They're, so, they're all over the place. These salmon, or no, these, um, these seals are just everywhere and there's no containing them um because they're so big and powerful and people just don't want to do anything about them because they're mammals and they're intelligent and blah 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 blah. it doesn't matter um the point is is that they're overpopulated they're harming the fisheries of this state and we're not doing anything about it because we just don't feel like it'd be right it'd be evil so I'm going to start off with what I got for you today. So I did a little bit of research before making this video, and I went to a website called the Northwest Power and Conservation Council, their official website for this. So what I found was kind of interesting and at the same time a little bit shocking. Um, so one of, the, one of the, the, the paragraphs in this article that I watched or that I that I read, um, talked about a scientist who worked for OFW, <clears throat> and he found uh, some rather disturbing information about this whole salmon and uh, seal ordeal. So uh, I have the notes right here, by the way. So scientist Robin Brown of Oregon um, Department of Fish and Wildlife OFW found that in a single spring run. Um, near Bonneville Dam last, or no, in 2014, the single spring run that happened during 2014 at Bonneville Dam was encountering a lot of sea lions. The managers of that dam were seeing sea lions below the dam, all over the place, and this was a problem because that year, um, it, 48,000 salmon and steelhead near Bonneville Dam were killed before they could even make it past the dam. So that's that. I mean, that's a, that's a lot of fish that are not making it to their spawning grounds, um, and it wasn't just near. It wasn't just at Bonneville Dam where these numbers were reported. In Buoy Ten, uh, fifty-one thousand salmon and steelhead were killed by these seals, which were reported literally making a blockade at the mouth of the river, so these fish couldn't pass through, um, and. It was a big problem because uh, at this time, the salmon fishermen, the salmon fishermen were like encountering an all-time low in 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 fish catches. They they just you know they were shocked because they couldn't find the fish that would normally be all over the place. But you know they weren't there in the numbers that they were supposed to be. Now, 2014 was by no means as bad as this year, 2018. I was salmon fishing three days ago and when we got out to this one spot which is normally full of fish and we turned on the fish finder we saw we saw nothing there was just nothing on the graph the the salmon just were not there and we were wondering why they weren't there because they they should be there it was it was a popular spot um they would stop there and rest and feed for like a couple of days and then they would move on and we we should have 
seen a lot more fish. There should have been a lot more people catching fish. There were guides, for Christ's sakes. Like, guides, guides who know what they're doing and have to know what they're doing, otherwise they aren't going to get paid, that were out there and weren't catching anything. And they were mind-boggled because there was no fish. Um, and I did this research, uh, and, um, uh, thinking about it, it makes me really, really frustrated and upset, but this year at Bonneville Dam, it's the same spot, same location at Bonneville Dam, uh, 93,500 salmon and steelhead were reported to be killed by sea lions, um, and... That, that since t that is literally that that's almost double the amount of fish that were killed by sea lions since 2014 it's double it's literally doubled um and you know what we've done we've done absolutely nothing about it um so and like the same thing that happened in 2014 uh, that, that number, 93,500, that was like the average number for the entire Pacific Northwest. And of course, buoy 10 was the worst with 95,000 fish reportedly being killed. If you haven't detected the problem yet, um, maybe you should do your own research and look it up on OFW. There, it's ridiculous because of... The fact that, you know, people in these, in California, Washington, and Oregon, they know what's going on. They know about this. But we're not doing anything about it because, oh, they're mammals, they're intelligent, they're warm-blooded, and my daughter thinks that they're cute and fun and should be walking like a, 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 a I don't know, some retarded, uh, like, SeaWorld movie or something like that. Right? Let, let's be real. If they were mammals, if they weren't mammals, we'd probably do something about it. But they're mammals. They're warm-blooded, and we think highly of them, so we think, oh, they're just, you know, doing whatever seals do, so it can't be that bad, right? It's been that bad. This year, salmon fishermen have been making an all-time low amount of money. Um, people that normally depend on salmon that live on the Columbia River as their primary food source have gone nights hungry because they can't catch any fish. And um, that's one of the things that I want you guys to think about is if you're against the killing of sea lions, which personally, I would be against the killing of sea lions too if there was a reason, not it, like if there wasn't a reason to kill them. Um, but there is a very, very strong reason to kill these things now, and I don't understand why we just don't send some guys on a boat out with a harpoon gun to shoot these things in the head. I just, I just don't. That sounds evil. You know what? I'm gonna be evil. Sometimes you have to do the wrong thing for the right reason, and honestly, this is that reason. Um, 93,500 fish killed at Bonneville Dam. That's, that's ridiculous that's so many fish that didn't make it to their spawning grounds because we felt that it was necessary to protect these stupid things these sea lions in like the 19 what 60s we developed the marine mammals conservation act protecting marine mammals from hunting that was great that was awesome i was like yes finally whales aren't going to be hunted sea lions aren't going to be hunted porpoises dolphins they're they're going to be off the charts of hunters and I thought highly of that but now I'm kind of thinking we, we screwed things up we we um, we we beat the we beat the dead horse and now uh, salmon fishermen are not getting the pay that they deserve we're not doing anything about it that's what's really making me angry about this is that we just continue to not do anything about that. So, like, for those of you who are conservationists and who like animals and don't want to kill animals, which, by the way, I support, um, think of the humanitarian aspect of this. Once again, people are not making money. People that depend on salmon as their primary food source may go nights this year hungry. 
I mean, I'm sure that you guys don't want that, right? You don't want that. The only way to do that is to allow the salmon to move through, to allow the salmon to filter through these river systems and do what they were naturally inclined to do. But they can't do that because there's too many sea lions. Um, and it's, you know, it's about, about damn time we start getting some guys on some boats to shoot these things in the head. I mean, I really do not care. Honestly, I don't care anymore. There have been several times. We, my, uh, my, my dad's friend owns a boat and we go salmon fishing on his boat and we literally have a like high powered, this sounds so dumb. We have a high powered slingshot on board to shoot rocks at sea lions if we see them because they're a problem. So I think I've spoken enough about this. I think you guys get the gist. If you want to go do your own research, go to Pacific Northwest Power of Conservation. Um, you know, check out their website, see what you have, see what they have to say. Go to OFW and see what they have to say, or just go to like Cabela's or Fisherman's and Marine and see what they have to say, because they're going to give you some, some good information. Um, and, uh, I've spoken enough. I want you guys to comment in the comment section below what you think should be done. Should we, should we just let the sea lions stay and lose, a the most important species of animal in the Pacific Northwest, the, the, the king salmon, or should we kill these sea lions re or relocate them and let the salmon continue to do what they were doing, but at a healthier rate of speed and at a healthy numbers? It's up to you. I encourage you to talk to people about this, to advise people about this, because I'm sure every one of you out there knows a salmon fisherman, because we live in Oregon. You know, salmon's like the thing. But I've spoken enough. Mm. Leave a comment and uh, think about this, because I might, I might go over this again. Um. All right, that's it. I'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching. Leave a like and subscribe for more, and don't forget to comment, please. That's all I'm asking of you. Peace out. See you later.